dear students good morning with no introduction let me start with a question that is what is the difference between a human being and a chimpanzee you may be in dilemma sometime you may think it is a foolish question no i am asking this very consciously as this day we are observing reading day why i am asking this question what is the relationship between this chimpanzee and reading in this day we should think about ourselves as a human being there are 99 similarities between a human being and a chimpanzee this is a scientific study what is the 1% difference that 1% difference comes in the intellectual thinking we the human being we can transform data into information information into knowledge and knowledge into wisdom that is the difference between a human being and a chimpanzee a chimpanzee cannot think or they cannot transform information or they cannot process information into knowledge or wisdom there was a question by a student to a yogi what is the exact time for prayer then the guru or the the yogi replied that the apt time for prayer is the day before you die then the student asked again how can i understand the day before die that time the guru or the yogi replied to that student that we don't know which is the day before you die that's why i'm saying every day you have to pray because every day may be a day before you die then let me say one thing the day for reading is not the reading day we have to read every day because we have to grow we have to feed our intellect we have to feed our brain reading is the food for our brain the power of brain will be enhanced by our reading then the question arises how will you read the purpose of reading is simply to think to create to behave in a well designed manner as i have already told you human being are capable of collecting information and transforming that information into knowledge and ultimately transforming the knowledge into wisdom that wisdom will lead you to the peak of success success is not at all a destination it is a journey but this journey is not so easy in this journey you need the knowledge of different things to reach out to your destination and that knowledge comes from reading that is the importance of reading in our life reading is not at all a simple exercise it is intellectual entertainment that entertainment is the real entertainment when we are spending our time with the gadgets etc we will lose our life that intellectual entertainment feeds our brain that helps to develop our thinking capacity and also and that develop our thoughts and perception everybody wants to good life but not everybody gets good life why this happening the ingredients of life includes struggles reading is as i have already told you reading is not at all an easy task if you want to be a good life you should take some
trains decisions one of that decision is changing our perception towards your life that needs several things several preparations one of that preparation is nothing but reading reading you as a life simply i would say reading is reading you as a real life then my dear students you should keep in mind the habit of reading will give you an intellectual world reading habits improves the power of imagination and also that widens your thoughts and eventually that leads to your success if you want to be succeed you should be a good reader when we read a book we are just traveling through the minds of millions of people just think when we read different authors we get information about the life experiences of that authors that means we are experiencing several people's life this scenario equal to we are living thousands of life dear students this capacity or this capacity of a human being that differentiate ours from a chimpanzee you should take in your mind the various positive things that we get from reading that gives us a marvelous life this fantastic habit gives us the capacity to think positively that means you will get the chance to explore new positive things it also it makes you a different person a mature person and a humble person that is the power of reading let me say a fact that a reader lives a thousand lives before he dies but a man who never reads lives only one life